Underdog Fantasy is the best and easiest place to play fantasy sports and their pick'em game. Sign up now with code Poodle and you'll double your first deposit up to $100 in bonus cash when you make your first deposit of $10 or more. It's simple. Deposit $100, get $100 free. Good luck and have fun. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 24 franchise video. Now, this is our first official franchise video on the channel. This is the new direction that I do intend on going, as you guys may have seen in my last video, which is my coming back video. Now, daily uploading from now until then will be pretty hard considering the game isn't actually out yet, but I do plan on making a few early rookie and franchise type videos up until that date, and then from there on out, pretty much following a daily grind for these videos. Now, today's video, I'm gonna be going over the top 10 rookies you want to be building in Madden 24. But before we get into the video, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what your favorite rookie in Madden 24 is based off the database. I have my clear-cut favorite, the one that I'm going to be building in all my franchises if I have the option to, depending on who picks who, right? And make sure to subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out Underdog Fantasy, one of the easiest places to play fantasy sports and pick em games. If you use code POODLE, you can have your first deposit matched up to $100. Good luck. If you don't know what this is, this is the Madden NFL 24 ratings database. Now this place is one of my favorite places every single year as a franchise player. When this thing drops, I sit on this almost every day for way longer than I hope to tell you guys. And I just go through all the rookies, all the key stats. Because the key thing for franchise, whether you're offline or online, that's a, that's a key discrepancy to keep in mind. People always don't ever notice that, the, you know, online versus offline are very different for how you want to build your team. I'm going to try to do my best to blend, but I will make it clear when I'm looking at one or the other. Now, again, the key thing to know when you're offline, any player's fun. It's not the end of the world if a few stats are different. But if you're online and you're playing competitively, there's some stats that you want to get a guy that has the frame, that has the intangibles built into the player so that you can make him better. So that's what this list is going to be about. It's not just their overall. It's these players that, if built, will be some of the godliest players at their position in the game. Coming in first on the list at number 10 is Owen Popoa. Popoa, whatever you say his name, middle linebacker for the Cardinals. To what I was saying earlier, 66 overall. He may not be the best rated MLB in the game, but the key stats that he's going to have will make him one of the best linebackers if built and again these are rookies they are young it's going it's it's not going to be too hard to build them as long as you're using them and you start them and you don't absolutely if you aren't absolutely terrible at the game 93 speed 95 excel are the key stats to take note here uh that's going to be insane if he's a 66 overall there's a good chance you'll get him to a 95 speed and or 96 and if you don't know usually if you're a young player like this and you're low overall from here to 99 you'll probably get one to three speed boost usually two at bare minimum uh so 95 speed 97 excel is what you're looking at here and then if you move on down a little bit more 85 jumping solid it's not the end of the world linebackers can't really jump anyways so i'm never too concerned about that anymore decent cod at 81 his block is a 61 that is going to take some work but he's a 66 you assume that you can get that easily into the 90s if you build that it all depends on how you're gonna end up building him or if you like him to be his own linebacker he's also a 60 there so you're probably gonna have to make your choice but that's number 10. That is one great rookie, whether or not you trade for him or you start with the Cardinals. Coming in at number 9 is Emmanuel Forbes for the Washington Commanders. 76 overall is pretty high for a rookie to begin with, not to mention the other stats you're going to get here. So 94 speed, 95 excel. Again, just insane. Some of these corners got absolutely blessed in this game. 94 speed can get up to almost a 96 or 97. The excel can get up to a 97, 98. That alone is going to make him one of the best corners. And like I told you, he may not be the best coverage guy off rip, but with an 89 jumping, with that speed, you're going to have an athletic beast. He's going to be really, really, really solid. And if we move on down, 75 man, 75 zone is more than enough. And that comes with a 67 press. So you can build the man, you can build them zone. You're kind of set up either way here because it's 75, 75. Uh, you're probably going to play Madden 24 a little bit to understand if the zone or the man meta is the way to go. We don't know yet, right? Next on the list, we have Jalen Carter, rookie defensive tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles. A defensive tackle is never a fun choice. I get it. But similar to Jordan Davis in the last year's class is that 79 overall rip with the 81 speed 88 Excel is going to be insane. It depends on the game plays, again, how defensive tackles get through. But that speed, if he can get through up the middle, it's going to be insta sacks with that speed. Not to mention, it's, all, it's also just useful he can get across the line. Um, overall, again, when you look at these stats... You have to keep in mind that they're going to be built. 79 block shed and 79 power move is such a great foundation because he's a point away from 80. If he even goes up a few points, you're looking at all middle 80s for his key stats. He's going to be a beast. Not the most fun choice because defensive tackles, you're never going to use with them for the most part, but definitely a great rookie. Next, we got Keely Ringo. This guy is just a beast. When I saw him get drafted to the Eagles, I, I, I don't know how he's going to fare in real life, but I just knew he was going to. He has the frame. I think he's like 6'2". 
He's 94 speed, 95 excel. These corners are just insane. These, these rookie corners. He's a physical corner with that with that frame and that speed and height. Similar to Emmanuel Forbes. He's a 72 overall, which is more than high enough to still be built. Not to mention, if, he's, if you have him on the, whether you trade for him or you, if you play with the Eagles, that front seven, he's, he's going to be getting uh, pressure. and which are gonna, They're going to be getting pressure, which is going to help out the cornerback situation. 70 man, 72 has got a zone and a 75 press. He's easily built to be a man corner, but he can also be a zone corner. It's up to you. He's going to be a monster. And I just, if you if you were to do a franchise where you acquired all the rookie corners, you'd have the most insane secondary I've ever seen. Next, we have Will Anderson Jr. I, for one, struggle building pass rushers. Uh, I'm not I'm not great at doing that free release type stuff. I just hope they get they get by. And without abilities in the last Madden, they weren't great at getting by. So keep that in mind if you're going to go with the Texans and or trade for them. Make sure you have that situation taken care of, how you plan to get them off the edge. But if you can build them, 87 speed, 90 excel, he can kind of be like a... A Micah Parsons light. He could probably get to about 89 speed. That's insanely fast for an edge. 92 excel. And as far as his build goes, if we go on down to finesse and uh, power move, he's a finesse rusher, which I prefer. So you're looking at a finesse guy right off the rip. You can always build both. But when you look at these stats, you always want to see where they're leading in. You can kind of see where their build's going to be easy to get to. And this is for abilities. See, if you try to start off early balancing it, let's say you end up balancing power move early, you'll end up at like an 81 81. And he'll already be like an 86, 7 overall. So you don't really, oh, sorry, like 85, 84 overall. But you don't want that because that means when he gets abilities, he won't be eligible for most of his abilities if he's such a low overall on both. So it's always good to go in one direction, like finesse move and go right for edge threat. Once you get the ability, you can start balancing it out. That's just my preference because you don't want to be held back a season or two. And as they get older and higher overalls, it obviously becomes harder to then get more points. So just keep that in mind. But he's a beast. He could have been even higher up on this list. There's just one other guy that just clearly passes him. Next, we have another corner. I'm a Giants fan, so I'm very excited about this. I was not expecting this. I did see his 40 time, but I did not. I just didn't expect him to be this good. 94 speed, 97 excel, just like the other three corners. The other two corners, I should say. Deontay Banks is going to be a beast. Uh, I believe he has, again, the frame. He has, I believe he's like 6'1", maybe 6. I don't think he's that huge, but he's also not a tiny corner, which is another trend we're seeing here. We're not dealing with those 5'8 guys who get the speed. Uh, if you go on over to his man and zone, you're going to notice uh, he's a 74 man guy, 76 zone. So it seems like, sorry, 69 zone. It seems like where they went with this was he has all the athleticism, but he's not the craziest in coverage. He gets an 80 press just about off rip, 79. He's going to be a good man corner. Definitely going to be a big good man corner early on with that speed and that press. I would build him man. Coming up next, we got Jameer Gibbs. I did not expect this. Another guy I did not expect. I thought he was going to be really good. I did not expect him to be this good at Madden. He is going to set the standard for the best running back in the game very, very, very fast, just based off of age alone. Like, Jonathan Taylor gets that kind of build, so does Saquon. I don't think Gibbs is the heaviest weight-wise, but the speed and everything and just being able to build him, he's more fun as a rookie. 94 speed. He has the potential to get up to 97 overall speed, although I think 96 is more likely. It will be possible. Great agility, so he's fast. He's agile, and he has hands, 72 catching. The beauty of this is last year, one of the metas was actually using a lot of pass catching abilities out of the running back spot. 72 catching, he's going to be like one of the highest rated catchers in the game at running back, maybe like top three off the rip. You could easily, easily start building that and get him up to at least 80 uh, for the tier for the bucket and start getting him the abilities he's going to need. We went over, he has decent jumping, not a big hurdle or don't care. 73 trucking, ball carrier vision, change of directions in 89. He seems like he's a well-rounded back. You're not getting any single stat that's like a 50 truck or something. Stiff arm 72, juke move 84. You could either start with elusive, get that right to 90 so you can get all his abilities and then go for trucking, or you could start balancing him early on. I like to balance running backs. That's usually my other thing. I like to balance them because if you get too far apart, you're never going to catch the trucking up, but it depends on how the game plays. You're going to have to see how that one goes, but this is just, he's going to be a great back. That speed insane. Up next, another Eagle makes this list. That is Eagles, like for a future video, going to be an insane franchise to choose, but uh, 93 speed, 95 excel at outside linebacker. Now, if we move on down to his pass rushing ability here, finesse moves a 71, uh, power move 62. He's a finesse rusher. That's where I will go with this. Get him to finesse as quickly as you can. Build him. Whether you have to free release him, whatever you got to run, make sure you build this guy and do not let him fall apart early. If you can get this guy up to a 90 finesse move with edge threat, you're looking at a guy that will have like 95 to 96 speed. He's going to make Micah, Pars Micah Parsons look slow. He's gonna be crazy. You could always just you could always run him in coverage. Too. I think that's stupid. But some people, if you want to use her a linebacker, you could always do that if you want to speed at linebacker. But as an edge, he's going to be ridiculous. You gotta get this guy built. He was a he was a combine beast. 
Ironically, real life combine beasts don't always work out. Madden, Isaiah Simmons style, combine beasts are insane for Madden. He's going to be a beast. Him, Jalen Carter up front. It's, it's, it's going to be crazy. Make sure you get him on your team, whether you pick him or whether you trade for him. Another corner makes this list, DJ Turner. I have never seen, or at least recently seen, 97 speed, 98 excel corner. Not that I haven't seen the speed, but he's a 73 overall. Usually when you get these guys, they end up at like a 65 overall, 66. They're like not buildable. DJ Turner is a 97 speed, 98 corner. That means he will have a 99 speed. And that means he'll have a 99 excel. That is crazy. I, I don't think I've ever seen a 99 speed corner in franchise before. At least from my recollection. Maybe, maybe a drafted one once, possibly. 91 jumping. He's clearly a combine freak. 93 change direction. His coverage, 72 man is good enough. And that what I mean by that is when you get like the 60-60, you know it's going to be a struggle to get them up there. You just It's hard to come by for uh, upgrade points like that. 72, you're 8 points away from 80. Abilities will be doable. He's definitely a man corner. I would not try the zone for a few reasons. If you try the zone at 66, it'll take too long for you to get him up there. That big, that six piece difference is going to be a big, it's going to be, it's going to be very, the differential is going to be very important there. So I would definitely go man and his press to 66. So he might not be a press corner, but he's going to be, he's going to be a great corner. I just, you got to get him on your team. And first on the list is my personal favorite rookie, Anthony Richardson, the number four pick to the Colts. I hope that's correct. Um, that's what I believe it was. He is a beast, and I know some of these other guys might be better statistically-wise, but remember, this is a quarterback we're talking about, the most important position on the field. It's not just a, it's not a third corner. It's not a guy that might not get thrown to. It's not a running back. This is a quarterback. The way I, the way I like to reference Anthony Richardson is he's pretty much a better Kyler Murray stat-wise, stat, stat wise, but I like to compare him more to Lamar, but the speed's not there. But Kyler Murray had that same uh, build in terms of his key stats. He had the 91 speed, 92 speed-ish with the... 95 throw power, but I think Kyler was like a 93. I think slightly better Kyler. The difference is, though, is that Anthony Richardson's like 6'4". He's tall. He fits the he fits the mold. And although, franchise, you wonder, does quarterback height matter? I can't definitively say it does, but I have when I had Kyler, I have hit the lineman before. I feel like the trajectory on the passes were lower than when a taller quarterback. I don't know. Could just be me, but Anthony Richardson is going to be the most fun player to play with in franchise. And another thing to note here, which is a key point, is that Madden 24, they brought back the scrambling quarterback. In Madden 23, they were stuck in mud no matter their speed, it felt like. This year, it's back. Anthony Richardson could run around edges. I was running backwards and around the ends. He's going to be so much fun to play with. I'm not a fan of the Colts franchise. No offense, Colts fans, but you can always trade for him. He's going to be great. He is 21 years old, but I believe in Madden, he's going to start at 22 because I think his birthday has passed at that point. Uh, Stroud is the only 21 year old quarterback, but nonetheless, 91 speed, 92 excel, 95 throw power. You have everything you need in the quarterback right there. Now, the thing that's going to be hard with him is going to be his accuracy. I believe, yeah, it's it's mid low 70s. He's going to be really inaccurate at first, but it's risk reward, right? Uh, Bryce Young and Stroud are way more accurate, but they're not nearly as fast, so they're not going to have that game breaking mold. I think Bryce is fine. You might be wondering why Bryce and them aren't on here. Bryce is going to be fun to play with. He's going to be good, but he's not game-breaking. 87 speed isn't different. 87 throw power is actually low. He'll be fun. He'll be very useful, but he's not going to be what Anthony Richardson could be. The ceiling is not there, and that's the point of this video is what is their ceiling. Get him a few upgrade points. Get him rookie of the year. Suddenly, you're in the 80s, and you're rolling. He may have. It may be a steep learning curve the first few weeks, missing guys wide open, but he's going to be great. But that wraps up the video. Those are my top 10 rookies, and again, the criteria is ceiling. It is not floor. Uh, I don't care if they're an 82 overall. Bijan Robinson is going to be great, but he's not going to be Jameer Gibbs in terms of top end speed, top end stats, right? Bijan's going to be great though. But he's not going to be. He's not going to be what Gibbs is. But yeah, that, that wraps up the video. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. If you guys are returning, thank you guys for coming out and checking out the video. This is new for us, so hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Every like helps, and we're trying to we're trying to do this again. So. It's definitely going to help in the early going. And comment down below, what rookie did I miss off this list? Do you agree or disagree with anyone? Feel free to debate me in the comments. I love doing that, especially for my franchise that will be starting in August. I want to know what team I'm picking, so I want to see some of your rookie ideas. And again, check out Underdog. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.